Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, you, I'm referring to the conversation, the exchange that you had with uh, the honorable member from Texas, Mr. Green, a few moments ago, um, discussing taxes and the fact that uh, it sounds as though you're of the opinion that uh, a certain amount of uh, raising taxes will actually have a net benefit for the economy, for, for growth. Um, you know, we look across the country at, you know, obviously we have 50 states that uh, have all their own economic climates in, in a sense, and they have their own state tax structures. Um, can you point to an example with among our states in which a higher tax structure or heavier tax structure uh, has resulted in greater economic growth in, in those states vis-a-vis -vis others with uh, lower tax structures. Excellent. Well, I, can think you, I think I can give you a better example, which is that uh, it's not exactly true, but basically what the President is proposing is to return the effective tax rates that the richest Americans pay to the level that prevailed in the second half of the 90s. And we have a great natural experiment of how well the American economy did in that context. And that was a period of enormous growth for the American economy, very high rates of private investment growth, productivity growth, very profitable time for American business and individuals. No material evidence from that period of time that those tax rates at that time were damaging to economic growth prospects. So I think that's the best example. But another way to think about this, and I, we were having a national debate about this, it's a good debate to have, right. is what would you do otherwise? Because we can't go out and borrow the trillion dollars we need to sustain them. It's unfair to ask people to take that out of Medicare benefits. Hard to imagine we should ask other Americans, middle class Americans, to raise their taxes Agreed. to protect the rich from higher tax rates. I don't see the basis for doing it. Can't meet the defense needs of the country, really realistically, with those, with those tax rates for the richest Americans. So it's, it's that reluctant conclusion and the evidence from the 90s that we think it's the better than the alternatives. Well, I, I would say, Mr. Secretary, with all due respect, res ipso loquitur. You know, we don't have an example among our states that suggests uh, that, that higher taxes work. I agree with you. We have a tremendous challenge that faces all of us. Um, but I think the, the solution that meets with praise from both sides, because you know, certainly I'm one of those who wants very much to work with you and with all of our colleagues, um, is, is growth. Uh, if we, if we, I don't, as a Republican, I'm not against greater revenues for the federal government, but I am against higher taxes. We need to grow revenues by bringing more participants into the tax structure. Uh, and of course, we've just hit a milestone, as you know, our corporate tax rate is now the highest uh, in the developed world. So I think that, uh, I hope that the administration is giving careful consideration to the budget proposal that Chairman Ryan is, uh, is introducing today that uh, does uh, reduce substantially uh, those tax rates. I know the administration has talked about uh, reducing corporate tax rates and making the tax code fairer and flatter. Um, and I, I thank you for, uh, for that consideration. Um, uh, on a separate topic, uh, Mr. Secretary, um, Basel III. You know, of course, we have, uh, you referred to, of course, to restructuring of banks in Europe, bank reforms in Europe. Basel III obviously is going to affect our banks as well in various ways. There is concern that agency mortgage-backed securities will be considered level two uh, capital instead of level one, even though in this country they have been considered to be uh, equivalent to sovereign debt. Uh, can you assure uh, our participants that uh, you're going to be working with the regulators to try to uh, make that playing field even, if you will? Uh, yeah, I, can, I can say that I know they're taking a look at it. It's the Fed's authority. It's not, it's not mine. Um, I don't, my sense is from a distance that those concerns about the capital requirements that kind of that have a material adverse impact on, say, the price of mortgages, I don't think those are really justified at this stage, but I know the Fed's looking at it, and we'll keep looking at it. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And Mr. Chairman, I yield back.